What up, what up everybody? Welcome to another morning mobile chat, I guess, with Paul. Welcome to the live podcast. Uh, I don't do these very often, so this is a rarity for me to do a a live mobile uh, chat, but I was so excited again to just uh, let everybody know of the things that we're doing on the backside that people wonder about, they're not familiar with. Uh, and, uh, for example, um, some of you may not be familiar with uh, a launch that we're doing on November 10th, 7.30 p.m., I believe it is. Um, of course, you can go over to our, our website at the uh, Master the NEC. Uh, in fact, if you don't know, actually on YouTube now, you can actually go and use the at symbol and do Master the NEC uh, with the at symbol in front of it. Like kind of like you do on Twitter or did on Twitter, and it'll take you to our page, and you'll see that there is a scheduled uh, webinar. Of course, it should be posted on all of our other platforms as well. You'll see a little notice if you look through it um, of a special webinar, and you'll want to attend that if you're in a business uh, and you want some, you want to be able to have the solution to quick access from your customers. Uh, and then I'll answer all of the questions that people have. And my brother, for example, brought up some great questions. Um, you know, why, why would an electrical contractor or a plumbing contractor, why would they need this service? Uh, was, it, wouldn't it be more towards the handyman or that type of thing? And, of course, it would be great for handyman, uh, great for uh, people that do those services and, and things like that. But um, um, I'll explain in the webinar why every trade should have uh, electronic business cards that are tied to an app and every company should have an app and it should not be exactly the way your web page is people talk about s seamlessness and how it should, should look like your web page and it's all bullshit don't listen to people um, people don't go from a website design and go straight to an app and think that it's got to look exactly like the website. Of course, you can do that. We can do that. But you have to remember what you're trying to do with a customer. And uh, that's what we're focusing on it. We've been focusing on it. And we're, we're going to launch the full uh, everything on November 10th, uh, con culminating with the, uh, the uh, webinar uh, that we're going to have um, explaining the app explaining the base core features of the app, what, what you get uh, for your uh, platform. And if you're new and you haven't heard me talk about it before, what it is is a mobile app that you share locally. Okay, We're not trying to get in the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. We're not, you're not trying to, we're not here to design stuff for people to be worldwide. Now, it's different than the app like I have for my company because I have students all over the country. Uh, this is very local driven. This is for you to retain business in your market. Um, that's This is what Trades Apps is, is about, trying to develop the business in your market and getting retention for those customers, creating loyalty programs through the app. Um, and But there's more than that because even the electrical contractors or plumbing contractors can have special folders that only their employees can get into. They could have uh, maybe job lists or in the home office can update that and put that in there so that each employee has you know access to their own uh, list um, or as a group um, also appointments so there's a feature where the home office or whoever the administrator is logs into a dashboard and of course that's a, an option that you'll have if you want that and in there they can put each employee's daily task so all they have to do is log in to their app, and they can see their daily tasks. That's the back end. Uh, that's not so much for the customer. That's for you to manage your employees as they're serving the customers. Um, but in the front end, and we want to keep it simple. Again, I think a lot of people can look at an app from a Lowe's or Home Depot's or all these others and say, wow, this app can get very extensive and cover so many things and have products. That's true. That is not what we're about. That is not what ours is doing. Could we do that? Yeah, but that's not why we invested. Um, our aspect of it was to create a simple, easy app for the customer to you know, scan their phone, 
scan your service tech's phone, scan your electrician, plumber, mechanical guy's phone, and it puts the it puts the customer right there, uh, and anytime they need something, one click. But beyond that, what we want to do is offer the ability to add a lot of uh, web centric stuff. And the reason we say that is because you want to create an app for the customer that also offers a customer experience. Okay, for example, on the app, you will in- integrate something like a, a games. So if they're stuck somewhere, they can go to your app and they can actually play online mobile games for those that are interested. So uh, Sudoku, Sudoku, whatever you call it, it's kind of give them a reason to have the app. In other words, you will have a choice of different Internet-based sites that you think would be beneficial to your customer. Uh, whether it's your website, whether it's a informative website, maybe you have an online scheduling system you want to continue to use, then we can integrate that in. But it, it, it makes there a reason for the customer to go to your app, not just to click a button and call you when there's a problem. So, But we want to make sure they do click that button when there's a problem. We do not want them going to the phone book. We do not want them searching for somebody else. We want them searching for you. Another unique feature is that it also encourages you as a contractor to create partnerships with other contractors uh, and, 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 and have them have apps. And the reason I tell you this is because if you're an electrical contractor and you can form a partnership or a relationship with a plumbing contractor or a mechanical contractor or a painter, uh, then what we're talking about is also creating a forum Whereas it's kind of like Business Networking International. In other words, and and you'll you'll all know about this on November 10th. I I will explain the concepts of what we're doing here. It allows you to build a network in your area. And and what that's doing is that you can have your app be able to recommend a trusted plumber, a trusted painter, a trusted um, mechanical guy. Um, And you get to choose them. And you get to pick how they're referenced in the app so that when you go to your customer and you're doing the work and you get them to scan the QR code on their phone or you include a QR code on their invoice or on your business card or whatever and you encourage them to download your app, you take a second and we'll have a training session on how the customer and their employees kind of be a, it'll be a recorded webinar so that you can show it to your customers if you you know get into our program and they will push this at the end so that the customer knows that look we're going to give you an app that's going to give you in your local targeted business area uh, all of our trusted partners and whether it's a plumbing contractor you a trust or mechanical or whatever 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 that's going to be up to you. We'll have a simple interface where you get to select these people and you get to, and we'll update it at any time for you as part of the service. So um, it's just so too much to kind of talk about here, uh, but it's, we're creating that, uh, that kind of that culture. Uh, t- and the whole goal of the culture is to promote you uh, as the contractor that they go to. Uh, if they have, a, if it's your electrical contractor, they're going to click that button. But we also want them to click it if there is a trusted plumber, uh, mechanical guy that you need. Okay, so you are going to build that relationship with them. They're going to use that app. But there's also a loyalty program built in, uh, a membership program built in. So if you're a service oriented uh, and you might a handyman or whatever, all of that's covered under tradies. So. And the other people ask, what does tradies mean? Well, tradies is slang for trademen. So, you know, if you go look it up online, you'll see that one of the synonyms for tradesman is, or tradeswoman, or tradesperson, is tradies. So that's kind of where that all came from. Um, So, yeah, hopefully you'll all join us on the uh, webinar on November 10th. Again, you can find out more about the, the webinar by going to our YouTube channel, Uh, You'll see it on the live. It'll be an upcoming stream. Uh, You can also see it announced on Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever. Um, But uh, if you want information on the actual 
uh, webinar, the link to it. It's also going to be uploaded onto our uh, website that is sitting there waiting to launch on November 10th. But you can go there now and kind of give a sneak peek at you know some of the features. Um, all you got to do is go to tradiesapps.com. That's T-R-A-D-I-E-S, uh, A-P-P-S, tradiesapps.com, all one word. And, uh, and you will be able to get information on uh, signing up. There's an email, contact us button if you're interested in it, uh, getting all the details. We will obviously have a promo uh, sheet that will show all the features and the a la carte features if you're interested, which are not going to be necessary, but they'll be there if you want them in case you're like a contractor that wants a little back-end stuff done. Um and we explain that basically the difference between what we're doing and others are doing is that it's others will create it and, and tie it to a website. We want it to act auto- autonomously. In other words, if you have an online scheduling system already, we can integrate it. If you happen to have a website, we can integrate any page into it so that it works natively within the app. Um, but we can create separate pages, separate content within the app, um, different Things like that. Now, there is going to be limitations, uh, and that's what you would expect to have some limitations because you're not going to pay twenty, thirty thousand dollars for app development. Um, our program, our pro- also, what we don't want is you to spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars to have a company develop a basic functional app that is changeable, dynamic, but then you think you own it, and then you have to manage it. Our whole program is built around a model of renting. So you're going to rent your app for as long as you want it. And you're going to get part of that where when you own it, you have to pay additional fees to add content. When you rent it, it's all included. So you get the freedom of changing it. And if you happen to want to stop it and don't want to be a part of it anymore, don't want the app anymore, then you just you can just you don't pay. You just stop. So it's it's a unique concept. We'll explain that. Um, and it's nobody's ever done this concept of uh, renting the app. Um, and if you th- if you think about it, it's perfect because you don't pay for the the development of it. Um, all you're paying for is the the ability to have it the repository for it, so that you have all of it uh, designed. But it allows it to be updated and modified, and pages added, um, and all that can be done through requests. Uh, but we'll even have in the future ability for you to be able to access your own console and make your own changes. Very simple, click, drop and, dra- drop and drag format. Uh, if you want to add pages and you want to add stuff to your own app, that'll be an, uh, an upgraded service. Most people aren't going to go for that. That's just going to be here, create the app. And then if you have any changes, you want to add a page or add, a, add something, uh, maybe a rate chart then all you got to do is you'll have a simple process where you simply email us or use an online form and we'll make those changes for you as part of your renting of, of the app. Uh, it's yours, again, as long as you, you know, continue to rent it. But uh, we're going to make it so affordable. Uh, and it's so cost effective that it's not even funny. It's If you go online right now and look for mobile app development, you're looking at, and a couple we looked at the other day, it was two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars a month, dude. That is nowhere near what we're talking about, um, and uh, it's it's not even not even close. So uh, I mean I mean I'm seriously not even close. You cut that by, uh, you know, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred percent. I mean really, just wait for the November tenth. Once we get all of it, we're still working on the, the what's included, and you'll see me run a demo, and I'll explain everything, um, and we're excited about it um, because I think every trade needs it. And also, we're throwing in, I shouldn't say this now, but Brittany will kill me, but every employee will get their own electronic business card to share that is branded back and it's, yeah, uh, I, that's included, every employee. So if you had 10 employees and you get an app uh, and you have the app that they share, every employee will also get their own customized employee card 
Okay, and it's all electronic in your phone. Uh, you can share it with people, contact the technician information. Um, it's it's going to be neat. Um, but anyway, nobody's done anything like this in tying these things together so they work seamlessly together. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're if you're interested in it, uh, and if you're not, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but if you want to learn how to retain the customer, give the customer value, add some neat little features in there for them to, to be able to want to go back to your, uh, to your app, um, to help them with local recommendations, uh, if that's your thing and you want to help promote others that are in the different trades and have that be reciprocal, um, we're going to create a network to do that. Uh, so we're excited about that. So hopefully you guys will check it out. Look for our November 10th uh, webinar. Till next time, folks, stay safe. God bless.